So today we're making chicken wings and uh, we're going to use a couple of uh, things that we made in previous recipes. So the previous recipe was for dry rub for meat. That's going in here. And then we're gonna finish it also with another previous video, uh, the sweet chili sauce. But you don't have to have that. That one's optional. It helps. <laughs> it does. So this is the rub that we made last time. Hi, right, there's the rub. Smells, oh, you've been dying to say that, haven't you? Oh, I know. And here are our chicken wings. This turns out to be uh, 725 grams of chicken wings. Um, so that's like three quarters of a kilo, which is in pounds. About a pound and a half. Yeah, give or take. Okay, so um, if your meat, and it doesn't have to be chicken wings here, you could be using um, a pork roast, you could be making a leg of lamb, I don't know, but in this case we're making chicken wings. But the rub you can use for all sorts of different meats. So um, I'm going to sprinkle some rub on, we're going to mix it up. The rub can sit for minimum of about 30 minutes, so if you're doing this on the fly that's totally fine. Um, but you can also leave it up to 24 hours. So, and the longer it's there, the more the flavors blush and you get this wonderful um, flavor in your meat. So I'm gonna sprinkle some on here and give it a mix. So what are you looking for in there when you do that? We're looking to coat the chicken, but we're not wanting it uh, to be Gooped up. I'm thinking a little bit more. What do you think, there, Rob? Yeah, a little, a little bit more. Yeah, Rob's often Rob is often the guy who who does the meat in our house. So uh, he oh, being oh, behave. he being more of a meat eater than I am, and uh, for for many years I was a pescatarian. Yeah, so. Uh, he tends to do the meat. We were, we were Anglican. Oh, very funny. All right. So. Oh, that's looking I'm thinking right. those look pretty good. Now, I'm not going to go sniff this. Unlike Rob, I personally don't mm. like the smell of raw meat. He does. I live things. for it. I live for it. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. oh, I knew that was coming. <laughs> I knew that was coming. We've been married a while. Anyway, so I am going to put this, have a look at how it's encoded there, right? You could, if you wanted to do, do, do this shake and bake style where you put it in a bag and give it a <laughs> shake, um, but we didn't want to waste a bag, right? Because then that doesn't even go in the recycle. I mean, you have yeah, to clean it yeah. if you want to put it in the recycling stuff. We're avoiding Stainless the plastic. Bowl is better. So, um, but the other thing I wanted to say, so put this in the fridge because you don't want your meat sitting out at room temperature and getting all nasty, uh, gross things that will kill you, but also, don't cover it. You can put it in the fridge without a cover because again, moisture is not your friend here. You're looking actually for um, a bit of dryness so that you get your sear, you get your crispy skin, that kind of thing. And if you cover this, you're locking moisture in and especially with the salt and the sugar drying moisture out of the chicken, right? You don't want to do that. And you could use this in an air fryer too, right? Absolutely you yeah. could. We yeah. are, today we're going to put it in the oven, but there's no reason why you couldn't use the air fryer and I suppose maybe the grill as well. Again, Rob's the guy who grills, not me so much. I say yes. There you go. He says yes. So um, I'm going to put this in the fridge and because here for us, this is, it's a little bit before lunchtime, it's going to be in for several hours. Um, but again, like I said, minimum 30 minutes. You can totally pull this off. It will still impart uh, quite a bit of flavor. So we will come back when we're ready to put the chicken wings into the oven. So um, we're making chicken wings here. We're back after they've been in our fridge for about six hours. Like I said, you can do it with 30 minutes. You can do it with 24 hours. Ours happens to be about six. So we've just taken them out of the fridge. There they are, the lovely chicken wings. They are. And we have a lightly greased uh, cookie sheet baking pan here. And we also have the oven preheated to 190 degrees Celsius, which is about 375 Fahrenheit. And I'm just going to place the chicken wings on the cookie sheet here. and. You don't want them to touch, you want to give them as much room as possible, so if you were to double this recipe, then you'd probably have to do it in two batches. Free range chicken. So, <laughs> yes, yeah, sort of. 
Um, a little bit of moisture has come out because I think the, uh, the salt in there has probably drawn out some moisture and that's okay. We're not going to pat it dry again because we don't want to lose the dry rub and if you pat it, you'll take some of the rub off. So there they are. Mm, in all their majesty. I'm going to pop them in the oven and what you want to do is at about the 35 minute mark, give or take, you want to turn them over. And we're thinking that this is going to be about an hour to an hour and 15 at the most for total. So yeah, 35 minutes or so, give them a flip, put them back in. I don't think we need to show you that. We'll bring them out at the very end and show you what we do. What we're actually going to do is toss it with the sweet chili sauce that we made a few videos ago. Um, you can use, of course, store-bought sweet chili sauce, also sometimes called sweet chili for chicken sauce. Um, How unusual. If you don't want to use the sweet chili sauce, you can leave them as is, just as they come out. Another possibility is tossing them in a little bit of hot sauce, something like Frank's. I like the combination. The combination Frank's is pretty really nice good. to toss them in as well if you want to go for a kind of hot wings vibe a little bit. But these are baked, obviously, not deep fried. So anyway, we will come back after uh, they're ready to go and toss them in the sauce. So the chicken wings were in for about an hour, 30 minutes, gave them a flip, another 30 minutes, and they're looking pretty yummy, gotta say. <laughs> <laughs> but that's not the final product, is it, Oral? You could, you absolutely <laughs> serve them just like yeah. this, they'll be super yummy. If you want to take it to another level. Or as Emerald would say. Oh no, <laughs> no, we're not doing Emerald. You're dating yourself. I know, that's the anyway, only way you so, date. I've got this sweet chili uh, sauce that we made in a previous video. <laughs> I thought you were going to say in a previous life. But <laughs> and I'm going to put a couple tablespoons. There you go. Maybe I'm there you go. And it's a precise science. Because we can, I'm actually going to put a little bit of hot sauce. Neither of these is necessary, and you absolutely could do one or the other. You don't have to do both. This just gives a nice sweet chili glaze to mm -hmm. it. Give it a toss while they're still hot. And then serve them as quickly as you can afterwards. So make sure your other parts of your dinner, we're having some roast potatoes that are ready to go. And we're having some stir fried uh, super baby guy, um, bok choy with garlic. It'll be awesome. And there you go. Have a look at those. So good. Mm -mm. So chicken wings, super easy. Just takes a little bit of time in the oven. You can do this, not a problem. You don't need to buy them. See you next time.